is unique about it, I guess, is what mm -hmm. I'm asking. I would say this is one of the most difficult nutcrackers to put together because uh, you don't have one entity, one type of training, one type of a person. When you work with a traditional nutcracker like uh, New York City Ballet's Nutcracker or Boston's or San Francisco, it's all ballet dancers. And it's, it's very, very milk and honey type of situation. And it's very easy to have a, a one line of discipline. This is how you do this. Uh, people show up at this time. Everybody use your laptop to look at your rehearsal, whatever you want. There's privilege in most of the other nutcrackers. This nutcracker is a challenge because we're not homogenizing the nutcracker. We're keeping it very diversified. We have children that have never gone to a formal ballet class. They're hip hoppers. It's their uh, snap and break. I finally learned what snap and break was. I never even knew what, how, what you call that. At the end, you know, at the end, quiet, quiet. Shh. At the end of these two guys, we all need to come downstage. Because it's a big hole here. So you could stay here and you fill in. Fill in. We believe that dance will erase racial barriers and improve the community's artistic experience. That's sort of word for word what the mission is. So it's not just artistic, it's also community. But it's not just grassroots community, it's high, the high art of dance. My name is Yoel Cassell, and I play the role of Minnie Meyer in the production. It's my seventh year. I've been part of the production since day one. When Tony asked me to be a part of it, I was very thankful. And he said, I would like you to do the show. I'm doing a, a twist on the Nutcracker. I'm gonna, it's based on my life. It's the urban Nutcracker, and it's for the children. I don't know what I'm going to have you do, but just come and create something for me. And for the character of Minnie Meyer, I did a lot of research on Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, um, Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire. I didn't want him to be a one-note character. I wanted him to have various dimensions. I'm always trying to make it better. I had a great teacher that used to tell me, never try to impress the audience, always try to impress the material. this groundswell of support of people that want to come see the Urban Nutcracker because, yeah, it's great what's going on on stage, but they look around them and they see, the hey, pose. you know, it's the sort of pose. people from more, you know, walks of life. It's not like going to Symphony Hall where you'd be hard pressed to find any people of color. Uh, you see some, same as going to Fenway Park, very few people of color. And um, uh, so, that's that's the mission you know that dance because for me that's what it did you know dance in the community i came from the inner city i got into dance and it erased my racial uh parameters start a christmas tradition with tony williams urban nutcracker now in its ninth season don't miss the show that critics are calling marvelous outstanding and simply stunning. Join the international cast as they reinterpret the timeless Christmas classic, blending ballet, jazz, tap, flamenco, and more. Tony Williams' Urban Nutcracker, playing through December 21st at John Hancock Hall. Reserve your tickets today.